Hey guys, so it's that time. Time to retire the Lorac Pro palette. If you guys have not been following me on my Lorac Pro journey, I will leave my playlist down below for you guys for last year's Pan That palette. I have been working on this consistently probably since November of 20... November, December of 2016. Um or 2017, 2017, and I panned it all in 2017. This was my one palette that I focused hardcore on, and you can see my progress on that with the playlist down below. Then in this year, 2018, I was focusing on, I only had four of the dark shades left, and I was focusing on those, and then I was doing a roulette eyeshadow palette. Um, project pan and I will link that playlist down below for you guys who are interested. I am still doing that but I wanted to close out this Lorac Pro journey, palette, pan that palette journey and kind of talk to you guys about my feelings and what I have ended with. So right now it is about almost mid-October. I have been painting this almost two years but today I decided to call it done. I depotted these three eyeshadows. I am moving so I wanted to not travel with a big palette that was pretty much empty. So you can see all of the shades that I was able to use up. I was able to use up 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13 eyeshadows and like you see right here the black, deep purple, and slate was the eyeshadows that I didn't finish up. I depotted them today and I put them into my Z palette. So I'll share with you guys what they look like. So those right here is deep, pur deep purple, black, and the slate eyeshadow. So, so close to being done, but I was just tired of taking this big palette out just for those little three shadows. Um, I will say this is a really great palette. It has a good versatility. It has good versatility. You have the top row that was all mattes, the bottom row which was all shimmers. I was obsessed with champagne, gold, light bronze, pure. I mean, majority of these eyeshadows I loved and was obsessed with. You'll see in those updates. I would totally repurchase this palette if I didn't have as many palettes as I do. Um, this is a really great palette for beginners. It has a lot of neutral colors, some... Um, warmer tones, some cooler tones. It just had a nice mix of colors in this in different formulas. It was just really great. Lorac though is not cruelty free or it's kind of one of those gray areas I think. Um, so I'm not going to purchase it again due to that. If they do become hardcore cruelty free or no questions about it, I would be interested in repurchasing this palette. But I really had a great time painting this palette. I didn't paint it completely as you saw in those three shades I'm still working on, but overall for, I think, I don't know how much this was, like 40, 50 bucks, it lasted a long time and gave me a good versatility of looks. So I just wanted to come on here and formally say goodbye to my Lorac Pro palette. I do have, like I said, the three shades in here I'm still working on, but for my totals for empties and stuff like that, this is now just going to be a goner and I'll finish these up, but total wise I completed this this year and I'm really excited about it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos. If you're interested in more Pan That palettes, definitely subscribe down below. I am doing my roulette edition this year and pretty soon I'll be taking a poll to see what you guys are interested in for next year. I have a bunch of palettes that I can either do just one palette on or I can continue with the roulette edition Pan That palette. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I'll talk to you in my next one.